Gary, sum that one up for us, because that was everything in that game. Yeah, I think for a neutral, um, watching that game a day, it would have been very entertaining. Um, but as a manager, we're disappointed um, in the manner that we conceded the goals. And we played against 10 men for, for a large part of the game, and we didn't capitalise on it. Going forward today, I thought we were excellent. I saw, saw, thought some of our play was superb. Um, and again, we scored four goals, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And obviously, when we go down to, or when we went down to 10 men and 9 men against the Lens, we've seen how hard, hard it can be sometimes to break it down. And the same again with Coleraine today, you know, they went down to 10 men, and it is difficult to break it down, but I thought going forward we were very good. Defensively, not so much so, you know. Two goals we conceded today. The one in the first half with Callum obviously he's trying to seal the ball in the box, just get get rid of it. Second half with a chance for Coachy to clear it. Then he plays it to Peter. Then Peter plays a square backwards pass into the box and sets him an attack. You know, it's it's things that we need to cut out you know, like a port it down game. But you know, the positives is again we 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 come from two goals down back and showed a bit of character. And then all of a sudden we come from four two down and, and come back to four each and showed a bit of character and again a stonewall penalty near the end. Uh, game two weeks in a row denies us of the opportunity to win the game of football. You just actually missed, you've just seen that penalty again um, for the first time since it, and obviously you think it's a stonewall penalty. As are we over there on the far side? Listen, everybody thought it was a stonewall penalty. I know even at the time or than that, they were looking over at me, thinking it was as well. And as I said, the, the goalkeepers thought it was a penalty too when everyone was walking in. But that's that's football. Um, it seems to be going against us at the minute. Um, well, I spoke with BBC earlier, and, and they said it was as well in their footage. So, you know, it just seems to be going against us. Everything seems to be going against us in terms of the seasons like that. But it is what it is. Uh, one positive today is. We, we, we show character, we um, show fight, um, and I thought today we were excellent going forward, even against 10 men. You know, it's difficult at times because the only real difference is, is that instead of two up front for them, it's one. And, you know, so we still have to break the, the two banks of four down, and, and I thought we did that well today. Let's look ahead to the end of the week because you've got two big games coming up, starting off on Tuesday night with uh, Balamina up at the showgrounds. Yeah, another typical game. They're all tough. Every one of them's tough. And as I say, this one will be no diff different. They've started the season really well. A um, couple of good results. We won against them at the start of the season. And as I said, this will be a tough game as well. You know, we, we have to take the positives um, from today's game and, and hopefully cut out the negatives on, on Tuesday night. And if we play like we did going forward and, and we don't um, defend like we did today and against Port Nine, then, then we do stand chances of, of getting results against teams. Um, but we need to really start cutting the, the silly mistakes out and, and, and keep showing the fight and desire and hunger that we've shown today and the bit of quality today we had in the final third. Kayak Rangers then on Saturday as well? Yeah, again, there's no easy games. Um, certainly, I haven't found any in the last couple of years here. It's It's been tough and you know the old teams are, are doing well and fighting against each other. And as I said, it's no difficult or different next Saturday against uh, Carrick as well.